Hey guys, Mick here. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, what we're going to do today is a bit of a product review on some exercise equipment. Now, I'm a big fan of uh, exercise that's more functional rather than specific. Um, and I like exercises to work a whole range of the body. Um, new toy here, which um, I've had for a while now and thought it was about time I actually did a review on it. So it's a product called a ProPilot. And as a disclaimer, I did actually purchase this. So I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, I was sent one to, to test out and I liked it and didn't want to give it back. So I actually paid for it and decided to keep it. Now the concept of this is pretty simple. You've got a handle, pair of handlebars with this little uh, rubberized plastic mount in the middle. And the idea of it is you use it for all of your push up and plank type exercises. And it provides an unstable platform and works on your upper body strength and wrist strength and so forth, uh, which is really, really great for uh, mountain biking and motocross and all of that sort of thing where holding on to handlebars is important. I originally saw it on a video somewhere, I can't even remember what it was, uh, saw some athletes training with them and Googled them and found the supplier and actually found the Australian distributor. So I'll put some links up on the video uh, for the website where you can get them if you're interested. But the thing I really like about it is it provides a really great unstable platform and you can, you can change it around to make it harder and easier. You'll notice that this block that goes around the handlebars, you can loosen an Allen key and then twist the handlebars in it. So I'll just loosen them up a bit. And it now turns the handlebars in the block. Now what this means is you've got basically three modes. The first mode, you've got this really large flat base. So it sits really, really stably and you don't have any real forward backward movement and it's reasonably stable side to side as well. Now this is great for starting out. You can do push ups, you can do planks. There's a whole range of things you can do with it. And it just gives you basically a bit of sideways wobbling. Now, the next mode that you can use it in when you rotate it around is this way and you end up with a slight, still a fairly flat piece, but a lot narrower. Now, it's more stable, it's less stable backwards, so it will tend to roll back on you a bit, so you need a little bit more wrist strength to control it. Um, and it's a lot less stable sideways. So it takes a lot more balance and sideways control to, to stabilize yourself with it. The final mode is with it wound around this way. So you've got quite a uh, sort of a rounded piece at the bottom. And that is incredibly and unstable in all directions. So it wants to roll backwards and forwards and sideways. So it takes really good grip strength and wrist control to actually use it in that mode. It does come with some game sort of things, which I think is actually kind of lame. I think they could have done a bit better job with that. But you can attach your iPhone to the top of it. And then when you, um, when you move it, it lets you steer through a game or it monitors your level of stability. Um, could be useful for your level of stability. But for me, I haven't really found that hugely useful. And I just use it as a, an actual device to do your push-ups on. So what you notice is to start out with, um, you can put it on that flat level, quite easy to use, um, good for planking if you can't do push-ups and to start working on doing push-ups with. You'll see from the demo, it's not too hard to actually use and it's quite stable. Once you roll it around to its middle position, it does become quite a bit less stable it's still not too hard to use and you'll see from the demo the sideways stability is reduced 
um, but it's still reasonably stable forward backwards. Now the final position is where you move it round onto the rounded bit and that's just hard to use. Um, it requires really, really good grip strength, uh, really good forearm and wrist control to actually stop it from, ro uh, from rolling over. And you'll see from this demo, it is substantially harder to control and substantially harder to use. Now, a few different exercises you can do with it. Um, if you want to make it hard, we actually have been combining it for our team riders with the TRX. So we've got an exercise we do with um, feet in a TRX strap. Um, TRX calls an atomic push-up. So it's basically a tuck and a push-up combined. Uh, really, really good full body exercise. Um, it's really hard to do using the handlebars, particularly um, on anything but its easiest setting. Um, none of our guys have managed to do it on the hardest setting yet. It results in people just falling on their faces when they try, so it's been kind of amusing. So we've had a few of our team riders around using it. They seem to be really enjoying the workout. Um, and like I said, none of them actually have managed to successfully really do much with it on its highest settings. But on its easiest setting, um, it's a really, really good workout. And as you can see, it's quite a complex exercise that works a whole range of muscles uh, for core stability, upper body strength and stability. So great device. The quality of the manufacturer is really good. They're a really nice set of handlebars. Um, they've got good quality grips and the middle piece is actually quite well made. And yeah, I've been really, really happy with it. They're not hugely expensive. I think they're, depending on where you are in the world, they're probably around a couple of hundred dollars. Um, but a, a really, really good addition to your home gym. Great way to work on that forearm strength, grip strength, um, which should reduce your arm pump, particularly if you're into sort of more downhill enduro -y type riding. So yeah, look, if you're keen, feel free to go buy yourself some. I certainly like it and think it was money well spent and it was a great addition to my home gym. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the review and it was useful and we'll see you out on the trails.